three minutes today. Well, I think he needs to just manage the game and let it come to him. And Kidd takes care of business in the opening tip. And here we go. It's great to have you with us. ACC Courtside Saturdays on the CW beginning here in Blacksburg. Hokey six and three. And inside immediately, Kidd. They get him the ball in good spots, too. He leads the ACC in field goal percentage. Just about 70%. Jackson Edwards from the wing cashes in the three. Now, oh, you want to make sure that you come out and play this game with offensive discipline because, again, Virginia Tech, they're going to play hard defense and they're going to want to try to turn those miscues into easy baskets. See Tyler Nickel. Edwards on the drive. Tough contested shot goes. A nice runner by Edwards. Again, still a little change up, a little matchup zone for Valparaiso. Pator from the corner connects. Three returning scholarship players from last year, none who had huge roles. Oh, here goes Singh, and it's Melanjo Petit quickly converting off the game. Forces them to come over and then drops it over to Petit to being able to finish. Barron feeds the big man again. This back, give and go, beautifully done. Giving Virginia Tech a lot of different looks because, again, we're giving them the zone and trying to give them a mixture of different de defensive looks. Barron open, buries it. Virginia Tech has come out and made a concerted effort to make pay a lot of attention to him. Isaiah Stafford, his first bucket of the day is a three. And Diavero did a good he job. He had glimpses last year. He had some great games along the way, but now he's doing it more consistently. We see great defense from Stafford swatting the shot from Collins. Virginia Tech the steal. King all the way. How about the big fella being able to show his hand? Now watch the steal. You see Lynn Kidd get ahead and then, again, realize he's got a little guard. He's like, you're too little. Looking forward to Charlotte and Duke at 2.15. Both those teams 5-3. and three. Another terrible pass. Collins throws it away, and Stafford lays it in. majority of Valpo's points have come off pokey turnovers. Tyler Nichols. That's cash. We see multiple occasions. Oh, what a take by Jackson Edwards off the dribble. The 10th Hokey turnover. You see the penetration by Edwards, and you see he's got three block shots in nine games. And again, we highlighted the fact that they give him the ball down low and his ability to score. But he's also done a lot better with being able to block shots. You see the kick out. Just six threes last year in 25 games, limited minutes for the Tar Heels. 13 threes already this season. Open look, Rex Steiner buries it. Valpo shooting just 33% at this end of the floor. Stafford for set two. Nice flash by Steph. A little over four minutes left to go in this first half. You Valparaiso. You got to continue to run your offense. And you got to make shots. I mean, right there on cue. They're still very much in. It would be without the 11 turnovers that they've had in the first half. Poteet puts it in. Pokey shoots north of 60% from the floor. Yeah, the turnovers, they'd be up 20. Absolutely. And talking about a mismatch, you had Seth there doing all he could to try to stop Poteet. You see Schrieger right there knocking down that shot. Thought they could sit him today. Hope he's going to play again until next Saturday against Vermont. Couture oh, that's tough. Under. That's tough. You know, they were able to turn Virginia Tech over. You want to see what you can get some early offense. There's three more for Hunter Couture. Look at the distance that he's able to shoot the ball. And I like that he's balanced and not trying to do too much with Sean Manu out. That felt like such a critical possession. Look at the defense by Hunter Couture who's shooting the gap. Tough teardrop. Cast bar set. Below average by what you're used to from Virginia Tech early this year. But Tyler Nichols trying to change that. But that's the guy that I think is going to get better. You see, control on the respawn. Uh, obviously, that's not what you want to do, especially on the road for a guy that's struggling to score. Diavero's pass deflected. Nichols steals it up ahead for long. And then again, you.
you see Long on it for the finish. Virginia Tech off doing it on a Saturday afternoon. I've always been that guy who believes that preparation breeds confidence. And I know that Hunter Couture is a gym rat. You see the penetration by Edwards again. And here's the thing is that not only, I don't know if he was stuck around for four years. In the probably not. And, and, and in this day and age, probably not. Get off the snide here. That's down and second for Maj Poti. And, and here's the thing, Rick Steiner came off with that pick. He hugged that pick where he forced the defender to have the trail. You watch the, the finish by Poti off of a pass. And that's a great play by Rick Steiner. Tom couldn't catch the entry pass. Collins comes up with a steal. Couture to Barron. Beautiful. He didn't reach, and he just used his link. Kid knocks it down. We talked about Kid not getting a lot of shots, but very unselfish play by Couture. Seth gets it back to a 23-point game, snaps the 9-0 run. Defended well by Kidd, back outside, Stafford. Diavero's open for three. Nice penetration by Stafford. Crowd chanting air ball at Isaiah Stafford. Diavero from the elbow, rattles it in. I got a question, Brian, I don't want you to be insulted by it. Did anybody ever chant air ball at you when you were playing, and did you hear it? First of all, man, how dare you do that? <laughs> Can you imagine? Maybe in Papa shot me if I shot an air ball, and that's even highly unlikely. Stafford knocks down the jumper. Hokies by 20. 5.50 remaining. Seven has had a solid game off the bench. He has. Right? You've got to have a Herculean effort to win, but you're trying to develop something that you can carry over into conference play. Stafford on the drive with a left hand. Another couple of stops, another couple of scores. You get a little interest in here. The tour fakes it, takes it, makes it. Oh! Jane Young getting some minutes today. Sets up nickel for three. They can beat anyone, and they know that. 8 0 start. Interesting to see how they can, they can keep it going going to the conference play. Well, Camden can't connect on the prayer, but Makai Long with the easiest. Wessler trying to score a great finish. Gets it back. One minute to play. Gets one minute for to one. play. Long another rebound. The crowd really wants to see Wessler score, but they'll applaud Young's hustle. You imagine the first couple of times, you know, the adrenaline is, adrenaline is flowing, and you pray for those guys to be able to make a basket. Final six seconds. Isaiah Stafford over Wessler comes up short, and that will do it today.